water notice is lifted for customers across Chattanooga tonight. Good evening, I'm Kim Chatter. And I'm Latricia Thomas. This is the latest map from Tennessee American Water. You can see every area is highlighted in green. That means that pressure is restored and the water is now safe to drink following Thursday night's main break. Just moments ago, Tennessee American said they will now start looking at why this happened. We will be doing a full review of what happened and we will make changes as needed. We apologize for the inconvenience throughout the weekend. Tonight we have live team coverage for you with a look at the precautions still being taken and how families dealt with the outages. We begin with Kylie Thomas though with a look on one major question that still lingers tonight. Kylie. Yeah, well, now that water is restored to all customers, Tennessee Americans says they are now going to be investigating what caused this water main break. And after getting out of this press conference about 30 minutes ago, it's unclear who or what could be responsible. Running water is trickling back into Hamilton County homes, but the lingering question of who's responsible is far from resolved. So now that we're out of the recovery mode, we will go into a full um, debrief and cause analysis. Tennessee American Water Company says they didn't see any red flags ahead of the major water main break that happened Thursday night. There really is no pleasure in saying I told you so, except in this case we did tell them so. Ron Littlefield disagrees. He was Chattanooga's mayor between 2005 and 2013. He doesn't believe Tennessee American has invested in their infrastructure to avoid problems like this. I have a long memory of a long list in my mind of occasions where they've had major breaks and they couldn't find a valve to turn it off. The private water company doesn't know how many people were without water over the weekend. According to the commission they answer to, they don't know if the repairs could raise prices for customers either. We spoke to Joe Shirley and Tim Schwartz with the Public Utility Commission. The commission regulates how much Tennessee American can charge its customers. They say the water company reported the break to them Friday morning. According to the latest annual report, nearly 1 million people pay Tennessee American for water. All I can say for sure is there's no obvious cause um, to the incident and we're, we, will find, we will work through that process. While leaders lift the boil advisory. I frankly don't trust them. Accountability still lingers. Now, according to Tennessee Americans latest annual report, there are nearly 4,000 feet of 36 inch pipes. This is the type of pipe that broke Thursday night. Tennessee American tells me they don't know if this investigation is going to take weeks or even months, but this is a story we're going to continue to stay on top of live in Hamilton County. I'm Kylie Thomas. Kylie, thank you very much for that. Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke says he plans to speak with Tennessee American water leaders to discuss what happened and how to prevent it again.